Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is 22,526. I've just installed it on my laptop, and this is basically the first build of the year 2022 for Windows 11 for the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. In this video, of course, as you're used to, we're gonna talk about the changes and improvements that you can find in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build. Before talking about the changes, don't forget to leave a like down below and and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one first of all in this build microsoft is experimenting with showing alt plus tab as windowed instead of full screen for some insiders so not all of us who are on the dev channel will have this but basically microsoft is starting to experiment with showing the alt plus tab menu in windowed mode instead of full screen and that could be interesting in my opinion another improvement is that microsoft added support for wide band and speech when using Apple AirPods products, AirPods, AirPods Pro or AirPods Max, improving audio quality for voice calls. Starting with build 22518, Credential Guard is now enabled by default on Windows 11 Enterprise, licensed PCs that are enterprise joined. Another improvement is that Microsoft is experimenting with indexing more file locations so that using search to find important files in File Explorer is quicker. That is really good. I think the search menu or the search box in Windows 11 is very, very good as it is now compared to Windows 10. But if Microsoft can do it better, I don't have anything against it. This build also provides some fixes, so for example, regarding Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft did some work to help address an issue where if you'd used search in file explorer and then explorer.exe crashed, the next time you try to search in file explorer, it wouldn't work. So that is fixed now. Regarding search, Microsoft made another fix to help address the recent searches fly out getting stuck on the screen, appearing transparent except the border, and they also improved the resolution of app icons displayed in search results when the display scaling was set to greater than 100%. That is really, really good. Regarding Spotlight Collection, if you're using Spotlight Collection, the current image should migrate on Upgrade Now if the build you are upgrading from is build 22,523 or higher. Regarding widgets, Microsoft fixed an issue result in the widgets board potentially not having the correct resolution when hovering over the entry point on a secondary monitor. And they also addressed an issue where the widgets board would temporarily be blank, showing only an Add Widgets button, which also opened to a blank dialog. Also in this build, Microsoft fixed a BSOD error, the K-mode exception not handled, that is really good. And now Microsoft Store should no longer show a message that trying to install the latest web media extension update is returning error code 0x8073cfb. And they also addressed a DWM crash impacting some insiders on the previous flight. So basically, this is all there is to it in this uh, first Windows 11 insider preview build for the year 2022. Of course, it is a smaller build not a lot of interesting things going on in this build but microsoft is slowly starting to get back on track in this year so we're hoping to see more interesting things in this new year if you want to find out more info about this new build go ahead and click on that link from the article down below in the description and there you will be able to find the link to the official microsoft blog known issues and more stuff like that if you like this video don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.